Hello everyone, how are you? Long time no see. I am Ray from MD Linux team, and it's my pleasure to talk about the new MD CPU performance scaling proposal in this conference. And we designed the solution at the beginning of this year and start upstream at this month in Linux kernel. The current implementation is verified on one of Zen 3 processors. Uh, its name is CZEM, and we will continue to enable more MD Zen based CPU series in following days. Okay, move to the background. And we were working with the Wolf Software Engineers uh, to enable the Steam Deck on the MD platform early this year. Why we were tuning the Steam game's performance uh, of Woken to D3D Proton, they found two issues on the MD processors. One is something wrong with the CPU frequency uh, prints, and another is a slow motion on the Horizon Zero Jaw. And we spent a long time to investigate them and found quite a few problems. Uh, for ACPI CPU freak driver on MD processors. So ACPI CPU freak driver uh, may not be very performance and power efficiency on modern MD platforms. Okay, let's talk about the existing kernel frequency control here. Uh, Linux kernel provides a CPU freak framework to use kernel governors. And such as on demand and uh, schedule two policy to control the CPU clocks. And many years ago, uh, Intel implemented an ACPI based CPU freak driver, and it is absolutely a great driver to provide a general solution uh, on the Lexi Intel Plus processor before Sandy Bridge. Then they switched to the Intel specific P state driver in recently CPU series. However, current AMD CPU platforms are still using the ACPI-based CPU freak driver to measure the CPU frequency and the clocks with switching only in 3P states. The ACPI-based CPU freak driver are developed on the Intel platforms and will bring some potential issues on AMD processors as well. MD hardware also provides the firmware-based uh, CPU clock dynamic power measurement. It is also control the uh, it is also to control the processor frequency. So we call it as DPM. The ACPI CPU freak driver is not aware of MD CPU clock uh, CPU clock DPM uh, in the firmware. So we would have some conflicts uh, to impact the final target uh, frequency. So we plan to design and implement a new MD CPU free, con uh, free control proposal. This proposal is expected uh, to handle the hardware functionalities such as MD CPU SMU former and ACPI CPPC handling. Uh, the MD processor provides the MSR registers as the backend mailbox uh, for the frequency control. Uh, because MSR is a low latency uh, register model that is faster than ACPI ML code interpreter uh, buffer, uh, so we implement a new MD P state driver uh, instead of ACPI. CPU freak driver uh, for MD platforms. It is able to use a finer grain uh, CPPC frequency uh, range instead of traditional ACPI 3P state uh, to control CPU clocks. Uh, we can use even leverage kernel governor such as the schedule 2 to predict the workload to calculate more reasonable design performance goals with the Linux CPU CFS scheduler. We mainly use the schedule 2 governor uh, to optimize the solution and manage it hints uh, to the SMUC clock DPM to calculate the final target frequency. 
And these four performance values are defined for MDP state performance capabilities. They are the performance scales, uh, which are mapped at different processor frequencies. You know, the different processor types have different frequencies. And the uh, MDP state um, solution introduces a condition, uh, continuously uh, performance scale uh, between the highest perf and the lowest perf. The highest perf is similar with both the day before. And the nominal perf is similar with the P0 state. The processor frequency can dynamic adjust it uh, during this range. These four performance values are defined for MDP state performance control. Uh, the performance scales, uh, which are mapped at different processor frequency as well, user can assign the performance range as the hint to the hardware. The hardware can control the real-time uh, frequency according to the hints uh, that MDP state driver provides. And the fourth uh, scale is difference. I provide hint if the driver wants to abuse toward performance and energy efficiency. This entry is not implemented so far, so we will take care of this in the future. This kernel has several, uh, several governors, such as on-demand performance, uh, power save user space, and the scale utility to control the general frequency change uh, for most of CPU processors. Uh, performance and power save set the highest and the lowest performance goals, statically, for the processor core support. The on-demand governor is mainly uh, used for uh, most of current processors beside modern MD processor, uh, modern MD Zen serial CPUs. This governor says CPU frequency depends on the current uh, system workloading. And scheduler too, I uh, expect to the better integration with the Linux kernel scheduler. Load estimations is achieved through the scheduler tools. Uh, Schedulers the per entity uh, loading checking method, uh, which also provides the information about recent workloading. Okay, this is the big picture uh, for the MD CPU freak driver, and uh, the the MD CPU freak driver uh, is create a new uh, kernel module name is MDP state and uh, Linux CPU freak subsystem. This module can assess the CPPC uh, relative MSR registers and which provide it on some of Zen 3 and the later C MD processors which includes the CPPC functionalities. The SMU former can detect the hints that MDP state passes the while the MSR register and the response request into the hardware control. Uh, and con uh, we were to, uh, we were, uh, they will control the CPU clocks according to the performance goals uh, from the MDP state module. The CPU freaks core estimates the CPU uh, usage statics over the last period. Uh, which is similar with the SMU former uh, to monitor uh, the C0 resistance. And then they decide that the frequency is increased or decreased. However, this kind of CPU statics are mainly controlled by the ACPI uh, processor idle driver in Linux kernel. And that is using the M weight uh, style translation uh, to set CPU from C0 to C1. And current Linux kernel uh, is mainly used the completed uh, fail scheduler uh, to manage the processor scheduling. And the Linux uh, CFS scheduler provides per entity loading checking method to manage the real workloading at real time. The schedule tool uh, works based on the DVFS 
uh, for the task manager by the CFS scheduler. Uh, the DVFS is dynamic voltage and uh, frequency scheduling, uh, scaling. Uh, and the real time and data and scheduler a task are always run, running at the highest uh, frequency. And it is the user mode uh, CPU power extension tool. Uh, to manage the uh, CPU freak subsystem running status. Uh, we can also add MDP state support at this tool. Okay, the Linux CPU freak core offers a standardized interface uh, for CPU freak sub subsystem. This model is to manage the CPU frequency and the performance while the MDP state API uh, with the multiple MD kernel governors. Uh, we use the two identifiers uh, to know whether the processor support MDP state module or not. The module uh, register uh, MDP state driver instance to implement the general operations in the callback functions and, uh, and it, will, it can excuse the relative performance scheduling control that is dedicated for MDP state interfaces on the MD processors such as the address perf, target, and the fast switch. Uh, they are used for mapping the functions in the governor, like the on demand and schedule too. Then the kernel governors can manage the P state performance hints while the MDP state module for each processor core. And we will implement MDP state uh, CPU performance scaling driver RST documentation to introduce driver details. And sorry. Okay, continue looking at MDP state driver. Uh, the MDP state driver implements the uh, CPU data to, to store the private MD specific information and uh, uh, function callbacks. Uh, we implement MDP state register, uh, re register read and write helpers for the capability and the request interfaces. Uh, this uh, driver implement a freak course request uh, interface uh, in instance for the freak constraints. The constraint structure uh, sets the limited uh, range between the maximal and the minimal uh, frequency uh, between uh, which register into the Linux power management quality of service framework. In future, we plan to implement kernel parameters to switch different frequency management policies and customize the different uh, the policies to specific product and implement the support of EPP, you know, uh, energy perfor uh, performance, pre-reference control, and the prefer core. Uh, the prefer core is for single thread performance. Okay, there are two static trace events which can be used for MDP state dynamic uh, diag uh, diagnostics. And one of them is the CPU frequency a trace event generated used by the CPU freak. And another is MDP state perf event, a trace event specific to MDP state driver. Uh, it can monitor all the performance goals uh, with MDP state programs uh, to the hardware at the wrong time. The MDP state exposed several global attributes uh, in the CSFS to control its functionalities at the performance level. Uh, the attribute files are located under the CPU freak subsystems uh, to affect all CPU cores. Uh, they, ind they can indicate the highest normalist, nominal and the lowest uh, performance and uh, frequencies. And CPU power tool is the library I use a space tool to query the uh, assets of CPU freak APIs. Uh, this tool is suggested by Linux community and uh, widely used by Linux world for processor power configuration co applications. And it can we and we will add two components such as MD uh, P state uh, performance frequency level and MD P state uh, CFS operation handling. Uh, then user can control the CPU power tool to manage 
to manage the MDP state module. Okay, we pick up the MDC Zen processor to do some performance for what testing on multiple CPU benchmarks. Uh, this is T bench, and and with the 180 uh, 28 clients result, uh, they are average data, and the MDP state got three percent uh, improvement with Schedule Two, uh, Governo, and a ten percent uh, improvement with the on demand Governo. And this is the uh, Git source benchmark test. Uh, it, it, it is also the average data. Uh, and MDP state got uh, 19 improvement with the schedule two and uh, 28, uh, 26 uh, percent improvement with the on demand. And this is speedo, uh, speedometer JavaScript benchmark for crop. And the schedule tier result is almost the same. And, and you can see one fourth percent should be, uh, should be in the measurement error range. Uh, so uh, so they, are, they are the average data. And the MDP state got a 10% improvement um, with the 10% improvement uh, with the on demand governor. And this is the Horizon uh, Zero Draw games uh, under the same performance. And uh, look at pictures. Uh, this is the MDP state clocks. Uh, you, you will see it's much lower than the ACPI uh, uh, CPU clocks. Uh, we can save more CPU power consumption here. Okay, finally, according to the test result on each benchmarks, uh, we got very positive uh, improvement with the new MDP state driver. We are in progress to upstream the whole solutions in the official Linux kernel. Uh, you can refer below uh, repo to, uh, to get the latest source codes uh, of MDP state driver. Uh, you know, the MDP state uh, MSR-based APIs are the first time for the Linux solution, so we might face some potential stability issues. I need to do more testing and verifications. So finally, uh, we hope this solution can be accepted by Linux community. Okay, that's all. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, and now it's time for the QA session. So the first question we have from uh, Bas Newenhuten, given that perf per watt is typically better on lower clocks, is the absolute performance still good? Um, we, we we already uh, do some uh, testing confirm uh, which compare with the performance and the dedicated performance and the dedicated for power, and even we uh, we we can promise the the performance is still. Uh, it's at least still the same, uh, but we can, by under the same performance, we can save more power uh, during for this uh, uh, this fine grained performance range. And then Lexid ACPIP state driver. And Michel Lancet asks, what's the oldest version of Zen that can work with the new AMD P state driver? Uh, yeah. Um. So uh, so far, uh, for uh, you know, for this uh this feature, we we still need uh the support from hardware and the system BIOS and uh PM former. So uh, if the uh, uh system uh system BIOS and the former can support this function, we can uh we can enable more uh legacy Zen based uh CPU series. Uh, but in fact, we uh, is teased. Uh, right, we are in. Uh, we are in fact. Uh, uh, we are actually in progress to enable them. Uh, in foreign days. Okay, it looks like that's all the questions we have for today. So please hop on to the IRC channel in case someone comes along more. Thank you for your talk and have a great day. Okay, thank you. <laughs>